Okay, so I wanted to do an in-depth walk around of the toolbox. I do have another video where I just show the brief walkthrough, just, you know, short and sweet. And then this one, I'm going to go in a little more depth just to kind of explain some things in case uh, there was any questions. So basically, this is the Snap-on Toolbox. It's the KRL7022. And then it has the two full drawers and then the rest of them are split up. This one came with the hutch, and so that's great because you get some above area storage there. And then also you can have this work center inside where you can store things kind of like I have and you can also work from. So I'm gonna start on the outside and then we will work our way inward. Starting up top, I put a, a mat up there so that way when I have these boxes up there, uh, they don't scratch the top of the paint. I have some painting stuff in here, some welding supplies in there, and then just big things that don't really have a space inside. So there's a pressure bleeder, a coolant funnel, and then I have some fender covers off to the side here. I've got some rubber gloves, some spare gloves, um, nut and bolt magnetic trays, and then I also have this magnetic tray here from Harbor Freight. What I did was hollowed out some of the holes that were already pre-drilled and I think I made some new ones here in the tray, but I have long stuff here, like the long air nozzle, this little auger for right now for a project, and then I have some files and pry bars there. On the other side, I have these magnetic can holders from Harbor Freight, so I just have various things, you know, brake clean, some PP blaster, some silicone, store in a funnel there as well. And I also have the creeper. Moving inside, I have storage of commonly used items and then <clears throat> also some things for just certain projects. So I've got my gloves hanging up here for now until I find something else better to put there. I have some of these hangers here for certain items, you know, glasses, headlamps, earplugs. And then up here on the shelf, I just have some nuts and bolts for a certain project. Um, super glue, got extra clamps there, Key, keys, tape measures, some spark plugs for a project, and then the toolbox came with this tray here from Snap-on and this piece here. So in this piece, the little tray, I just have some uh, stuff in there and then also got this magnetic rail here and so I just have the box cutter hanging there for now. Two of my Milwaukee chargers and then the Snap-on power block gives you two USBs and then um, various plugs. So I have the lamp plugged in, the LED light strip, the two chargers, and then two of these cables for charging up headlamps and other things too. I ran the cable and the block for the LED lights up there. So just one strip. It's adjustable as well as you can cut it on with this block here, if you want, or you can also use voice activation or your cell phone, which was great. Uh, another lamp up there. That pretty much covers everything in here. Moving into the drawers, top drawer, sockets, ratchets, extensions, things like that. So I just have some various Pittsburgh and Cobalt stuff. Here I have Allen sockets, torque sockets, E sockets, metric and standard chrome, a long half inch breaker bar, and then I have a tray for all the various extensions, half, three eighths, quarter, impact sockets, various types, Milwaukee electric ratchet, and, uh, lug nut sockets, and then just various sizes of different ratchets. So um, half inch, three eighths inch, quarter inch. These are fantastic little ones from Blue Point. So you can use a quarter inch socket on this side that ratchets, or you can use a quarter inch hex bits for like um, screws. So you can put a Phillips or a flathead or Torx bit or something like that in there. And so they sell it as a kit. You get the short and the long. So that covers the socket drawer. 
this drawer, all wrenches. So I've got SAE, ratcheting, regular box in, long, flexible ratcheting wrenches, some extra space there. Crescent wrenches, fuel line disconnects, and then this is the metric side. Same setup as over there as the SAE. I've got ratcheting and standard. <clears throat> In the center here, I just have the metric and SAE flare nut wrenches, and then some of these wrenches that come for the different tools like the uh, angle grinder and the right angle grinder from Milwaukee. I have some extra space in here to grow to get some more wrenches and obviously I can get more organized. I've got some extra um, wrench holders and all that good stuff for new wrenches when the time comes. Let's start with the small drawers and the small one. The top one I have basically like an investigation drawer. So I've got a camera scope, a, cal a digital caliper, feeler gauge, stethoscope, this is a, for carpentry, this is a stud finder. Um, I've got carburetor adjustment stuff. I've got a, this thing here I got off Amazon. Basically it's various types of uh, thread and pitch finder, you know, thread pitch finders for bolts and nuts. So that was pretty cool. I have got a battery for that Milwaukee lamp up there, an extra battery. And then just some various things. Um, RPM gauge and then a thermometer. Moving down here, just a simple drawer. I've got some extra safety glasses, some spare air chucks or air fittings, I guess, and then a spare tire inflator, air gun, uh, an, another one, just a couple different types, and then a standard one for you know, when you need this, basically, if your valve, if your tires are totally flat, then these type here that require some sort of back pressure don't work very well. So you basically just use this and it, it'll get it filled up. Next drawer is kind of a miscellaneous drawer. I've got commonly used things you might need, Sharpies, pencil, pen. This tray holds all the box cutter items, the delicate ones that you might need for detailed stuff. Razor blades, different lengths and stuff, scissors, just a junk knife that you can use for something you might want to not use a regular knife for. Various flashlights, lighters, uh, bits there for a drill, extra bits for a drill there. Uh, just a container here to hold miscellaneous items that you don't want to throw away. And I've got a battery terminal cleaner, magnets, pencil sharpener, things like that. So I got this tray here. This is the t um, a tray from Tecton. I think it's very similar to something you could get on Amazon as well. Uh, I think Ernst might be the manufacturer. In here, I've got all the power tools. This is the deep drawer on the, the skinny side. And I've got the right angle impact, 3 8 impact, um, half inch mid torque, right angle die grinder, quarter inch impact, um, quarter inch hex impact, regular drill, heat gun, soldering iron, the Milwaukee small hacksaw, jigsaw, a big heat gun that has various um, temperature settings, but it's corded, cordless grinder as well. What I did was took the plier holders from Tekton's website and I actually trimmed off some of the pieces to get this so that way the tools didn't flap back and forth. So typically there would be more slots there, but I just trimmed them out in order to have two of them in here. There's one and then two there, and then the rest of the tools are just sitting in here. So moving back up, we're gonna move into the medium drawers. This first one, screwdrivers. So, Phillips, flatheads, and then I've got Torx, micro, um, Phillips and flatheads, and then some various things like a sprinkler tool and then some, some junk stuff back there. But more space here as well, and I have extra of the screwdriver holders in order to 
fill in as needed when I get more stuff um, or upgrade or something. Next one is a kind of a hodgepodge drawer. So we'll start here. Again, this is another one of those tucked in trays. I've got these extended um, Allen sockets here. I've got the short ones in the regular drawer, but these obviously don't fit standing straight up and down. Various, uh, you know, set from Tecton of the metric and SA Allen wrenches. Hot glue gun, soldering stuff there, and pipe tools, PVC cutter, whatever, extra hot glue sticks, vinyl tools, um, various panel popping tools, some small files, and two torches. I've got a various array of picks here. Nothing crazy, but the Milwaukee picks. Some junk picks there from Cobalt that I've had for a long time. These are kind of the things that I use for the down and dirty work. And then I recently got these Icon ones, which are a little more heavy duty and obviously bigger. So those are gonna be nice for stuff where you might actually break one of those. And then I've got just a small array of punches in here. All right, so in here, I've got um, some irrigation stuff in here for right now, and then a, a, a square, whatever they call it, for cutting wood. Uh, I believe they call it a rafter square, maybe. Again, some of these little trays for some various things that you don't want to throw away, but you might need them. Just a book for some writing. So I have two half-inch torque wrenches and one quarter inch. I still need to get a three-eighths inch one but this is one from Harbor Freight for a digital one, then an Armstrong <clears throat> normal one, and then this is a teched in quarter inch one. So covers most things, but a 3 8 inch one would be nice for the everyday normal stuff when you start doing certain projects where the half inch doesn't go low enough and the quarter inch is not always high enough. Moving on, this is the plier and battery drawer for me. So this is what I was talking about with the Tecton ones. Basically, I left one of these, cut two out, and left the following one, and that's what I used in that drawer for the power tools. So I ended up getting an extra one, and didn't it didn't fit in that drawer, so for right now, I ended up using it in here. What I have is various pliers back here, longer stuff there, frequently used stuff up here, and then various batteries. So I've got the M12 ones and the M18 batteries, and then some extra space for more pliers or more batteries. Moving on to the bottom drawer. This is a various array of things as well. I've got the bit sets for the tools. So this is various uh, Phillips, flathead, Torx, all kinds of stuff like that. And then two of these for drill bits that fit in there. I've got the standard, you know, bolt measuring thing here. And then um, these are jigsaw blades, hacksaw blades, various attachments for the right angle die grinder. So you got some grinding wheels, the soft disks, uh, cutoff wheel round grinding stuff and then a sanding kit you can have sandpaper right angle i mean sorry um <clears throat> grinder wheels electrical stuff for like a multimeter and testing other things masks i've got some wire brushes here some of these small miscellaneous ones and i got one of these trays off amazon just to hold them so those are standard, and these are for like more on the welding side. So I've got two ones, one for aluminum, one for stainless, and then one for regular steel. TIG hammer, two ball peens, big rubber hammer, little rubber and plastic mix combo hammer, uh, three dead blows, and then some various bits here too. Extra cutoff discs for the right angle grinder. They're basically just little three inch discs and then I've got some Forstner bits and some extra quarter inch bits and then some goggles here because they don't fit in these thinner drawers. So 
That about sums it up. I do have some extra stuff in here I can briefly show you. Basically, I keep the grease gun and the some fire extinguishers here, and then I have this tray that I'm going to be working on. But in here, I have various items, zip ties, respirator, various clamps and other stuff like that over there. Down here, I've got the map gas, tape, brake bleeding bottle. I've got some wire stuff in here, some brushes, wire brushes, plastic bristle brushes. In here, I've got an M18 set of the drill and the impact driver. I've got a tool here for reading codes and you know, uh, you can also do some other things with it like um, re-scan your TPMS sensors. Jump box, heavier duty, final gloves. Here I've got a flaring tool for brake lines, rib nut tool, I've got a compression kit, tap and die set, and then this is the Ashro new, uh, pneumatic rib nut tool so you can use the rib nuts. I've got some zinc ones and some stainless ones up there. And then down here I keep various cleaning chemicals and other chemicals as well, like brake fluid, brake clean, extra oil, various lubricants and stuff like that. And then this is mainly like car cleaning stuff. So not bad. This just gives me some extra space in here for, you know, larger items. And then you can all keep it organized. So let me know if you have any questions for some items that maybe I didn't cover. Or if you have any more specifics, I can try and answer them about certain things. But overall, I'm very happy with the toolbox purchase. It's been a great upgrade from my Milwaukee one. And I look forward to continuing to grow into it from here. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.